Welcome back. Dean Matthews serves as chair of the board at Bridges Prep Charter School and is in the studio with us today to give us an update. So Dee, Bridges Prep just broke ground on a new school in Port Royal. Tell us about that. It's very exciting, as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, because this has been ongoing for a while. And with anything that we've done like this, uh, there's a manner of excitement. There's been some frustrations. But with the actual groundbreaking recently, the frustrations are minimal at this point. So we're all excited to have it there. Uh, we've got uh, the contracts have been awarded and we'll be starting and hopefully the students will be in there probably October of 2019 but definitely by January of 2020 for the first graduating class. Well that is very exciting indeed. Now speaking of announcements you also announced a new head of school Gary McCulloch. He will start in July so how did that happen? Well you know that we had interim head of schools. Um, we had a two of them that were serving as the interim because we wanted the consistency of having somebody there that had been there. But we advertised and we posted the position and we were, we are ecstatic to be very honest with you. Gary McCullough is a great leader and we think that what he will bring to Bridges along with the stability is the actual experience to grow the school and to give us a good brand. So in speaking of growth, where do you see Mr. McCulloch leading Bridges Prep in the future? There's a lot happening for you. There is a lot. I believe he is the person to lead it as next year we'll have seniors. So it'll be the first, his first year there will be the first graduating class. So I think that um, with his help and not only will we grow the school and have a great graduating class of 2020, I believe that he will be instrumental in building partnerships with other uh, businesses that will in, and also help Bridges and its students. Now Dee, let's get to the actionable specifics here. So during December and January, we know the Bridges has open registration. So how can parents sign their children up for the next school year? Starting December 14th and running through January 31st, they can go, it's open enrollment, they can go online and apply. Uh, and with that, every application that is received by the end of day, January 31st, those applicants will go into a lottery. We still take applications after that, and we can, but they are put on a waiting list. And so they, it, it operates as a full lottery. After that closing date, uh, there's a date set for the lottery, and it's open to the public. Now, do you're retiring from Bridges Prep, and you have been four years as chair uh, of the board of directors now. So tell us, what do you see as your greatest accomplishments in your four years? I think that, first of all, I, I can't take it on myself alone. It has, been, it has been a pleasure, it's been a privilege to serve as their board chair. I initially was asked to run for a uh, position because of my educational background, but I guess the biggest accolade I can say is that the new school is being built, it's there. So that dream, and it has been a huge dream, is now becoming a reality. Uh, that I think in making in, and ensuring that our budget and our finances are what they are, I'm told we have probably the strongest financial backing or the strongest finances of any charter school in South Carolina. That's, I think, an accolade that the entire board can be proud of. Absolutely. That is an incredible feat. Dee, we are out of time, I'm sorry to say, but very, very good news. Thank you for sharing the update with our viewers. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll be back after this with a peek at the Blue Angels, so don't go away.